Jim Loudenslager here for Loudon Golf. Tour tip on how to hit a longer driver longer and what swing to use for it. First thing I like to talk about is many golfers go out there and they use one swing for every shot. Well, guess what? There's three swings on tour, and if you want to be a really good player, you've got to use all three. Let's talk about them briefly. The first swing, called the power swing, is a swing that goes behind my body and out to the right, called the inside-out power swing. You use that for driving your full swing approach irons and fairway woods. Then what most people do in golf, they try to take the club straight back and straight through down the line called the accuracy swing, but I'd only like you to think about straightness and accuracy when you're putting, chipping, and punching out of the woods. The third swing is the one that goes across our body, across to the left, called the cutting swing or the outside in finesse swing, and we use that to get out of the sand, go over the sand called pitching and lobbying, and also to get out of heavy rough and trouble. So you can see there's three swings and nine shots, and each swing handles three shots. If you know that, you're ahead of the crowd by a whole bunch. But let's talk about the power swing and how to use it in the long drive. You know, we like to, at Loudon Golf, build our clubs about an inch longer than the commercial brands. They cut it at 45 inches. We like to cut it at 46 inches. You know, if you're 5'11 or more as a guy, you probably need that inch, especially in your irons. And if you're a woman at 5'7 or greater, you probably could go up to a men's club, you know, 44 and 3 quarters or 45 inches. It works better because it extends your arc. So the bottom line and length of both your woods and irons is to go as long as you can handle, but you don't know what it is until you try it. Here's the longer club. What's it going to do to my swing? It's going to make it bigger. It's going to create a bigger width to the arc, and it's going to be more time to accelerate the club, and it's going to have a smaller curve and a smoother tempo to it. Let's prove that to you with some electronics. I'm going to take that small 45 inch that everybody's producing and I'm going to go ahead and swing one here. And I'm going to swing it pretty hard. Let's take a look at what it looks like. There's the swing in slow motion, but what did I generate? I generated 99 miles an hour straight in, straight out. My tempo was 0.9. Well, that's not so good. I can do better with that. I can do better if I actually use a longer club. So let's try a longer club and see what happens. I'm going to go to that one inch longer club, 46 inches. Now remember this, when you're using a longer club, if you tried it and you didn't like it, it's because you don't know how to handle it. And a longer club requires more core rotation. That means you have to twist more at impact to use a longer club. As long as you know that, you can use a longer club. And let's see what happens. This time I'm going to go back there and I'm going to twist a little bit. So I'm going back and twist. Let's see what happened to that computer now. There you go. I moved it up three miles an hour. I started working a little bit better from the inside. That's better numbers. Every MPH I give you is 2.5 yards. I'm going to hit that club eight yards further. Now, once I get used to it, it's going to come up even more. Hey, that's why everybody on the Remax Tour uses 48 inches. Even the small guys are trying to maximize their distance. But remember, you must have that core rotation. Now, there's three swings, three gears in your body that create core rotation. First of all, you've got to learn how to open the club and close the club, called supinate and pronate. This door, face of the club, has to open and close. That's the first thing. Get it activated. Get your hands accelerating the club. Then you hook it up either to your hip or your right heel, so they're both working over the shot together. So when you take a picture of me from back there and I hit it, you can see the back of my body. I have rotated into the ball, and that's what long shots require. So get your third gear, that's your hands, hooked up to your first gear, which is your legs, and your second gear is your shoulders. They are always working good. Get all three gears working, boom, at impact, we call it the double hammer, and you will be long and accurate off the tee. So experiment with longer clubs, use some core rotation, and you're going to be a very good player.